ASEAN leaders have sharply criticized Myanmar's military government as leaders meet virtually for their annual summit. Indonesia says the army has shown an unwelcome attitude towards the bloc's diplomatic efforts, while Cambodia blamed the military for abandoning its right to attend the talks. Thailand's Prime Minister Prayut chan -ucha has raised concerns about ASEAN's credibility as the world watches how the bloc manages the political crisis in Myanmar. He said he hopes Myanmar will trust the regional group to help it achieve peace to ensure the nation can return to a democratic process. Myanmar refused to send a representative to the meetings after ASEAN members barred its army chief from attending. Now, despite Myanmar's absence, the country's crisis has dominated the agenda. Leaders have also addressed a wide range of issues, including COVID-19 recovery and trade. Leaders have sought to pool together renewable energy resources and to form a green power grid in the region. ASEAN will be meeting representatives of the United States, led by President Joe Biden, in about an hour's time. Leon Waikit joins us live now for more on this. Waikit, how has Myanmar's absence impacted these discussions? Well, Don, even if Myanmar were to be part of the ASEAN summit, there's no guarantee that there will be any progress made because recent history would remind you that back in April when uh, the Army Chief Men Online flew to Jakarta to meet ASEAN leaders and that's when the five-point consensus was born. Since then, there had been no significant progress made. And even if Myanmar were to be part of the ASEAN summit, it's going to be very keen to share its side of the story, its own narrative to justify why it has no choice but to seize power. Now, I also want to point out that uh, we should be seeing the ASEAN summit as one of many opportunities for the region to come together to help Myanmar. We also need to consider some of the uh, other developments, such as, for instance, uh, the UN Sec Gen had recently appointed a new uh, special envoy on Myanmar. She's Dr. Nolene Hazer. She's Singaporean, and she's had previous experience dealing with the Myanmar army in the late 2000s after Cyclone Nagas. And Dr. Nolene is no doubt going to be going into this new role with her own perspective, with her own style to contribute uh, to, to Myanmar and the wider region. I also want to point out that the ousted lawmakers who formed the National Unity Government, they also been stepping up their engagements with some ASEAN member states as well as with US officials. And all these are going to boost communication as well as perhaps in future even promote more constructive developments and opportunities. Well, why Kit, ASEAN leaders have also been meeting with, with other partners as well. What's the focus been for those talks? <sighs> Well, the focus also comes in hand with a keyword called beneficial. That they're So ASEAN, whether they're talking to their dialogue partners about boosting trade or peace and security in the region or vaccines access, it has to be mutually beneficial and also beneficial to the men in the street uh, at the end of the day. Now, Don, you also earlier mentioned that U.S. President Joe Biden will be attending the ASEAN-U.S. summit in just a while. He's also set to attend the East Asian summit on Wednesday. So that's basically uh, President Joe Biden walking the talk to to show that the U.S. is indeed very serious on re-pivoting the uh, focus and attention on this part of the world. And from an ASEAN perspective, that's really welcome because analysts say that this is going to bring more attention, more activity, whether in terms of economics or people-to-people -people ties. And because the president is going to be in the same Zoom room with other ASEAN leaders, there is also no doubt that the topic of AUKUS will be brought up. That's, of course, a recent deal where the US and UK have said that they will help Australia build nuclear-powered uh, uh, submarines. Some ASEAN member states, such as Indonesia and Malaysia, raised concern that that could uh, you know, lead to an arms race in the region. No doubt these questions and, and, and these uh, uh, details will be trashed out and ironed out uh, at, at the US uh, ASEAN summit. Waikit, thank you very much for that update. Long Waikit there with the latest updates on the ASEAN summit.